Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Banksy. I'm back again guys. Today I got free stuff. I've got a tutorial and I've got a featured on freedom content request. All three of those things, one video. Let's talk free stuff first guys. I've got a, eh, I've got a Twitch or a stream overlay. Come on Curtis, use your words. Consonants are tricky. Yeah, guys, I got that. If you want a PNG file so that you can download and put your own info on there, great. If you want the Photoshop document file, if you got Photoshop or a layer editor, also great. Both of those are free. They're yours if you want them. If you don't want them, no problem. They're in the link in the description below. All right, guys, second thing, tutorial is coming up. After the end of my jibber jabber here, guys, there is a short tutorial showing you how to take a PNG file and this is for those of you that are new to graphic editing or you want it, you love some of these or you like some of these pictures, you like the YouTube banners we've been showing in the previous videos, but you want to personalize them and you don't have Photoshop or something like that. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's completely free and it's like a two or three minute tutorial. I'll show you how to do it with a PNG for uh, the Twitch overlay. Maybe I'll use my Fallout 4 banner that I'm about to release to you guys and some Destiny stuff. So I'm going to do a tutorial, show you how to do it. Third thing and final thing before the tutorial starts is featured on Freedom, guys. We are looking for a theme and the theme is, because I made a decision, Batman. That bad boy launches today. It launches at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern time, I think, or 12 o'clock. I don't know, guys. Either way, it's either out where you are or it's coming out in a few minutes or in a couple hours. Guys, get on that game if you're playing it. Awesome, it's supposed to be great. It's getting 9.2 from IGN, not that I care what they say. A couple other places are giving it pretty high scores. But the point is, you're playing that game, you're covering footage, you need to email it to me or you gotta link that in the description below because we are covering Batman this week and I'm gonna be doing a montage and a featured on Freedom of your stuff. So get on that turtle, get that to me. All the information is in the link below. Finally, and here we go guys. I am about to start my tutorial on how to personalize these PNG files, all of these uh, background images, these YouTube banners, these thumbnail generates, all these different things that we've got for you, they're free. Well, I'm going to show you how to make them personal for you, and I'm going to do that now. So I hope you like this. Get your Batman footage to me. Let's do this, guys. Submit your stuff. If you're a graphic editor and you're doing banners or templates and you got some Batman Arkham Asylum stuff or whatever it is that's coming up, get that to me, guys. Send me an email. We're doing this. Let's go. Enjoy the tutorial. I'll be back tomorrow with some Featured on Freedom and some more free stuff. Let's go. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. This is the tutorial section. If you know how to do this type of stuff, where you know how to, if you've got Photoshop, you know how to work with layers, or you know how to use online graphic editors, for example, you don't really need to watch this, but, you know, give it a thumbs up anyways. But for those of you that aren't too sure, or you're just starting out, or you want to customize your graphics a little bit, and you don't have a layer, uh, a graphic editor that, that works with layers... PicMonkey is one way to do it. Why did I choose PicMonkey? Well, it's free and it does the job. There's lots of other ones, guys. Use whatever you like, but I'm going to show you how to do it with PicMonkey because it costs nothing. All right. First things first, you're going to go to PicMonkey.com and you're going to see this. It's going to be all a bunch of crap here. Hit the edit button. The edit button will load up, well, it'll load up whatever you, whatever folder you were last working with. I am going to show you a Fallout 4 banner that we've got coming out in the next day or two. Uh, but here it is in the beta. Here we go. We're going to click on it. It's going to ask you to open it up, open a file. Make sure you open up a PNG. JPGs work as well, but PNGs are usually better because they have transparency in them where it has an alpha channel. That's some nerd talk, but whatever. So open up the PNG. Like I said in my video before, all of these files are free on the, in the links below so you can go and download anything you want you want a thumbnails for call of duty you want this fallout 4 banner you want i don't know the, all those things all these templates everything you've seen in any of my videos are up they're on that link below and they are free follow 4 banner but you want to make it your own let's get back to the topic first thing you can do is well first thing you'll see is you've got a whole bunch of options on the on the the left here resize is one of the really really useful ones because of course you know a thumbnail is a different size than a Facebook header, is a different size than a Twitter header, is a different size from a YouTube banner, etc., etc. So if you've got a cool picture and you want to resize it, resize it. But in order to make this synthetically layered and make this kind of individual, you want to click on the text button. Now, once you click that text button, it's going to load and it's going to give you the option to choose any of these different fonts and you can add your own text. Click on the add text button. 
and it sets up a text right in the middle. Okay, now double click inside of it and you can start typing in whatever you want. Let's call this Big C's YouTube channel. Why? Okay, this is just an example, guys. This isn't what I would use, of course, but this is just a quick and dirty example. Now I'm going to resize it so that it's, say, it's longer. Cool. Double clicking inside it. We've obviously don't want black on a, on a darker background. So we're going to do a couple things. First off, the font's kind of boring. Arial's kind of boring. Let's go with Chunk 5. <laughs> yeah, now we're at Chunk 5 font. A little different, kind of cool. Of course, you can go down here and select from all these different cool-ass fonts. Um, they've got lots of weird dead-style, undead-looking... What does that say? I thought that's something else. Something, something block. <laughs> I would have totally used it. Cool black, not something block that I thought that said. Oh, Lord. But whatever. Okay, you see all these different... Okay, you like Emily's Candy? Yeah, it sounds like a, like a movie I would uh, watch online. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get in trouble here. All right, guys, whatever. Let's switch to uh, whatever. We got Chunk 5, right? We got Chunk 5. You want to go with Green Fuzz? Oh, if you've got a... Uh, oh, look at these. Smash! All right, we're going with Smash, guys. That's a cool font. All right, there we go. Select your font. Simple as hell. Select the size that you want. You want big? Go big, man. Double click if you want to move it. Click outside of it, pardon me, and then click in back in. We're going to move this up. Obviously, we don't want that color, so we're going to double click. We're going to control A to select it all. And now let's pick a new color that works. Oh, what's that? Red? What do you think? Big C's YouTube channel. Simple as hell. This is just an example. This is a rough cut, but that's how you do it, guys. That's all there is to it. If you want to start putting in your your uh, your info, like Twitter, Twitter, I don't know, whatever. Big C, Big C. FTW, go ahead, change the font. Let's go to Smash. Oh, no, wait, that's a you got to pay for some of these fonts. Let's go with Smash. Uh, that looks cool. We're going to go back to red. So let's go with a purple. I don't know. Reduce the size. That purple is kind of stupid, but whatever. You get the point, guys. And if I want it to be down here, if I could just bloody will click on it and move it. Let's move it to there. But that's all there is to it, guys. And then the next step is to save it piece of cake we'll call this i don't know fallout for fallout for banner big c um huge ass name why not you'll notice the dimensions of course you can change those in the resize button i showed you earlier save it to the desktop and you now have a customized youtube banner piece of cake let's do one more just as an example i'll show you how to do it for like thumbnails oops uh, okay, where we got some thumbnails. Let's go. Let's go back to. I don't know. Let's go back to Google, and then we'll go back to PicMonkey. All right. Now let's go to PicMonkey. Just type it in again. Now let's edit a, a thumbnail. We're gonna show you how to do a thumbnail. Gizmo got a thumbnail. He's got YouTube banners. Acid has follow banners. <whistles> Green designs. These aren't really thumbnails, but I do have them somewhere. I just don't remember where I put them. That looks like a, a thumbnail, and it says thumbnail, so let's go with that. Opening this, all right. This is the, the standard image, right? You got your, your, your shooter dude. I don't know, is that Call of Duty? I think that's Call of Duty. No, yeah, it's Black Ops 3, I think. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but now you want to add some text in it. So if it was, I don't know, let's go with Smash again because, I don't know, I'm not very original. And let's hit Add Text. There it is. Let's make it big, huge text. And then let's make it white so everybody can see it because I'm just being lazy. So this would be top five kills. All right. That's all there is to it. Whatever you want to put it, put it. All right. Click on it. Oh, shoot. Drag it to, let's say, there. Does that look a good spot? Sure, why not? All right. And then we'll add another piece of text. Put that down maybe here. We'll make this pretty big. We'll make it white as well, and let's call that, well, this is number 16 in the series. How does that sound? All right, top five kills, number 16, and click out, click inside it, put that wherever you want it, 
done, hit save, and that is how you make a thumbnail with one of these backgrounds that we provided you. So that's it, guys. It's really simple. I know for those of you that weren't aware of this tool, it's there. Use it if you like it. If you don't, no biggie. Send me your Batman footage. I hope this helps, and I'll be back soon with some more Featured on Freedom and some Batman arc action going on. All right, Big C, checking out.